Hello, and welcome to our introduction to programming and problem solving series. In this series of videos, we will explain the foundational concepts of problem solving, programming, and how to tackle problems using programming techniques. After the end of this lecture video, uh, you should be able to define what a problem is. A uh, example of problems in the IT context or in the information technology world. What problem solving is. Steps involved in problem solving. And benefits of problem solving in programming. So this uh, lecture series uh, seeks to introduce us to the main goal of program, which is problem solving. It seeks to help us understand and solve challenges. And then by doing that, um, we'll be looking at real world scenarios and how we approach and then solve them is in the problem solving steps. Um, we we'll start by defining what a problem is. A problem could be anything from a minor inconvenience to a major issue. Anything that tends to disrupt normal functioning, processes, or goals could be considered as a problem. A definition of a problem is uh, anything that is generally or, or anything that creates a challenge or an obstacle requiring a solution or resolution. In the context of IT, information technology, a problem could be issues with functionality, performance, security of computer systems, software, networks, or digital infrastructures. IP problems can range from software bugs, hardware failures, and network outages, security breaches, data corruption, or system malfunction. What is problem solving? Problem solving is a process of understanding a problem, designing an algorithm or a solution for it, and then finally implementing the solution to the problem. Problem solving is a necessary skill and essential skill every programmer must possess. In the tech space or in the business world, companies would give a higher priority to candidates with this skill because um, it is needed to solve simple and complex problems and ensure that companies stay in businesses. And problem solving skills helps foster critical and analytical thinking, which in turn boosts confidence and develops one's career. So, um, it's an essential skill that every programmer is supposed to have or anyone looking to work in the tech space is supposed to have because companies work by solving problems and then they make profit out of them. They help by providing needs of people and then they will make money out of them. So um, for a company to bring you on board, you will need, it's a skill. It's a skill that you're going to need to be brought on board to a company. The art of problem solving. Uh, before... Uh, you can learn how to use computers to solve a problem. It is very essential that you understand what the problem is before attempting to solve it. Understanding a problem is the first step to any problem-solving scenario. Um, there are other steps, but each of these steps um, involve skills and procedures that determine the level of the problem complexity um, that can be handled and contribute to the overall effectiveness of influence and change. The seven steps to solving a problem. Okay, so first, um, the first most important step is to identify. Or the first step is to identify and then define the problem. Secondly, you analyze and then you clarify the problem. Here you look at the root cause of the problem or discussing the problem. Third, you define expectations or goals that are supposed to be met after solving the problem. Fourth, you identify potential solutions. And then from these potential solutions, you choose the best one that solves the problem efficiently. And then you implement the solution. After that, you review the outcome. If it solves the problem, if it does, you are good to If it doesn't, you have to go back to one of these steps to address that. So let's look at a real-world scenario of a problem and how we would approach it to solve it. Now, next slide. Okay, so um, this is a simple problem that we are seeking to solve. Um, the problem is that um, people uh, end up getting missing in this estate. They find it hard to um, go to the right destinations. So um, using the seven or six, sorry, six steps in solving a problem, um, we are going to look at how you are going to tackle this problem and then 
how we would approach um, solving it. So um, first, the first thing is uh, to identify the problem. So here, um, what is happening here is that um, people are getting lost due to uh, unfamiliarity with um, the estate layout, or probably a lack of clear landmarks and signs. So that is the identification and then defining the problem. Um, secondly, we analyze and clarify the problem. So here, um, probably we could look at um, pinpointing areas where people are getting lost or identifying causes, the root causes of people getting lost. It could be due to poor signage, um, similar looking buildings or unclear pathways. The third, is, third one is we have to define the goals. So here, the goal is probably to reduce confusion, provide clear guidance and ensure accessibility, um, and also create a scalable solution to make sure that people get to their destinations in the estate. The fourth is uh, here we draft um, potential solutions. Some of the solutions could be um, installing signages at the signpost. Um, we could provide maps or even create mobile applications, uh, map pathways, or even offer staff assistant points where people would ask or make inquiries to get to where they want to get to in the estate. So uh, out of the solutions, we choose the one that will work best for us uh, based on certain factors. Internet connections and everything is going to be factored here. So if you're in a place where you have problem with internet connections, you'd have to go for a solution that would do without internet connection. But the most important thing is that the solution must work well for your scenario. It must be the one that gives you the best advantage and the less disadvantages. So from there, you would implement the solution. So if it is installation of signages, you'd have to bring in your bots or signposts to direct people. Um, if it is an app or a map, you could develop one and then make sure that anyone in their states, or you could even place a QR code um, at the entrance of the estate where anyone would have to scan and then get access to probably an app or a map, anything that could help them on uh, getting to their destinations. Then the last, the sixth one is where we evaluate our success by cracking feedback. So are people still confused? If yes, it means that we are supposed to adjust the solutions here. Could even come back to defining our goals or analyzing the problem again. If that's okay, then we are good to go. Introduction to programming. So um, basically computers help programmers solve problems. A computer can't do anything by itself. Uh, what it does is that uh, it's going to follow a set of instructions that are being given to it by a programmer. And then this set of instructions are what we call programs or codes. So basically, writing a computer code to create a problem to address a solution is what we refer to as programming or coding. And then codes or programs are a collection of instructions that tells a computer what to do and how to do it. So um, the major goal of a, a research article by Martin um, 2021 um, says that the goal of computer programming is to find a set of instructions that will allow a computer to solve a given problem in the best possible or most efficient way. So the role of a programmer is actually to find solutions. As such, um, you would use computers. Yeah, you'd have to, um, computers are going to act as helpers or partners in solving this problem where you give the computer instructions and then it executes. It's so the processes involved in computer programming comprises of several tasks, um, from problem analysis to algorithm generation to coding, uh, checking of efficiency and the resource consumption of the algorithms or the codes, basically, and then maintenance. So with the problem analysis, uh, it will be good that you follow the systematic approach in solving problems. The six steps that we made mention earlier, identification of problems and clarification, setting goals, Two potential solutions, the, uh, finding potential solutions, then uh, implementing the solution and then review, reviewing the solution to see if it works out. Then to algorithm generation. Algorithm basically means um, a step-by-step -step approach that um, we take to solve a problem. 
and then to coding where um, you are going to do the real uh, the real work by giving computers instruction using programming languages which you are going to look at later in the series and then you'd have to check the efficiency and resource consumption of algorithms basically your solutions you are looking at does it work well is it good does it consume so much resources are there better or, or better options so that is where you get to the feedback area yeah and then maintenance so um benefits of programming or uh, problem solving to program so um problem solving as mentioned earlier is the backbone of programming uh, it enhances code quality it helps improves efficiency it enhances debugging skills better handling of complex projects uh, it helps with adaptability also so um, the more you practice it um, the better you become at tackling problems challenges or challenges efficiently and effectively leading to higher quality solutions or softwares yeah. so um, this is the end of our first video um, our next video we're going to look at what algorithms are and then how you'd work with algorithms in handling problems